Hello again everyone, this is Mr. Hoy. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to find the starting point for square root functions. In this example, we're given two similar functions. This one is the square root of x, then subtracted by two, and this is the square root of x minus two with that minus two under the radical. What you wanna do here is just understand that the smallest number that can come from a square root is a zero. You can't take the square root of a number and get a negative number. So when we're talking about a starting point, we're talking about what number that can we substitute for x here and get a zero to come out of the radical. So if you just have a square root of x and nothing else underneath, that x value is always zero. We can actually just plug in a zero there. The square root of zero would be zero. So if we're looking to find the starting point, we would plug in a zero first. And then we just run a quick calculation. The square root of zero is zero and then zero minus two would be negative two. In the next situation, what you have here is an x minus two under the radical. So in this case, we're looking to see what would x have to be that would make x minus two equal to zero. So that add two to both sides in this case, we would get x equals positive two. And just to demonstrate that one other way, if you've got the square root of x minus two equaling zero and you plug in that two, two minus two is zero, and the square root of zero, as we mentioned before, is zero. So in this case, your starting point is the two that we have from here, and then after you plug that in, the resulting zero. 